is a bent a 90 degree coil, but I wanted to demonstrate the capabilities of bending from zero degrees to 90 degrees. We have a, a counter here that I can uh, set the number of degrees of the angle bend. Uh, we had this set for a 90 degree bend, so I'm going to change this to do half of that. We're going to do a 45 degree bend. We obviously there's no coil in there, but that would clamp it down. And then we would bend it. And there's 45 degree angle. And that's done by programming the, the counter right here. We can go anywhere from zero degrees to 90 degrees. Okay, this is the control panel for our, our bender. And this is a, a counter which actually counts the pulses from the motor over there that's doing the rotating and we can program this counter based on the number of pulses for angles of degree of the bend. Um, 80 pulses is 45 degrees, 160 pulses is 90 degrees. Um, you basically multiply your degrees times 0.5625 and that'll give you the number of pulses that you need. So I can reset this and go to 160. And do a bend. So that shows the complete extent of the, the bend we can do. There's a 90 degree bend. And then return. Well, I wanted to show you the, the finished coil again, and this is the out, outside where the bend was, and there's no damage to the fins from the machine. Okay, this is the, the corner, the out, outside radius of the bend and I wanted to show you that there's no damage to the fins that's due to putting the slip sheets in there to protect the coil from the, the bending of the machine. It did not press in and bend these fins so you have a nice even bend here where we can have good airflow through the coil. Show the sides and this started out as a flat slab and we put a 90 degree bend on it after we squared it up in the machine. And now this outside diameter, outside dimension from here to here should match our drawing. Okay, this measurement right here from the outside to this metal casing bracket is 21 inches. And this is what we were expecting from our drawing. After we squared up the coil in the machine, we measured it from the bend radius out 18 and 3 quarters inches. And now after it was bent, we were expecting 21 inches in this dimension. And that's what we have here.